time to get to it, man. It's a lot going on right now. In fact, I had a whole timeline of what I was going to talk about today. Something totally different. I had no idea that I was going to go into the direction that I'm about to go in right now. But I know some of you know what's going on out there, right? We, we thought a lot was going on with Drake. But it's a lot of things going on with the people who support and rap Drake too. Now, 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 don't get me wrong. I always like to say I'm a Drake fan. But it's somebody who's a bigger fan than me when it comes to Drake. And it looked like it's a little trouble in paradise right now, man. That y'all not here. There have been an article come out. In fact, he's talking about it right now or live. But there is information that has came out that DJ Academics is being accused of. <laughs> I didn't say the word. Let me try it again. DJ Academics is being accused of. No, that ain't the word. That ain't the word. DJ Academics is being accused of grape. Wow. Hey, I want to say something before we read this article, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, have all of, have any of you read Proverbs 16, 18? And I'm just saying this because it's something that I know. Have any of you out there read Proverbs 16, 18? Pride comes before the destruction. Pride comes before the fall. A lot of people get all the way up there, and then something happened that brings them all the way back down. And I'm not accusing nobody of nothing. We're going to get into reading this article. Who knows? This could be all a shakeup. It could be anything. Who knows, right? But I'm just saying. But let's go on and get into the article really quick. We're going to pull this article up really quick and then go into it. And as we speak about this, like I said, DJ Academics is live as we speak right now talking about this situation. I don't know if I would go into that direction with it. You get what I'm saying? But he's talking about it right now. So let's go on and pull this up and go through it for those of you who don't know. And like I said, this is new. This is breaking news. This just came out literally a couple of hours ago. Something I was like, I mean, of course you don't want to hear this. Academics, you know, I mean. We don't know each other, but these are peers. You get what I'm saying? You don't want to hear of individuals, men who out there doing what they do, working hard, grinding and things like that. Men, you don't want to hear stuff about women either. But I'm just saying, you don't want to hear things when it comes down to people being put in this situation. It's not a great thing. But it happened. And we got to talk about it. So going over the article, DJ Academics sued for rape and defamation. For, for Zaya Abushi claims she was assaulted multiple times at the internet personality's home, first by two men who drugged her, and then by academics himself. So, uh, let me see. Do we got to go there to read the full story? Let me see. Okay, let's go. We're going to go read it because in Rolling Stones, you got you to gotta purchase it. So we're going to, let's just type in um, academics accused and we'll just read it off of a different article. Yeah, academics. Accused. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. We can just hit up. Yeah, that's cool. All right, cool. Here we go. Here we go. Back in action. All right. So um, basically, controversial social media influencer DJ Academics has been named in a lawsuit accusing him of grape. And everybody know why we're using the word grape, right? Okay, just wanted to make sure we're on the same page. Sexual assault and defamation, according to Rolling Stones, the plaintiff, Fazea Zia Abeshe, alleges that the influencer, whose real name is Livingston Allen, invited her to his home in July 2022 where he and two other men drugged her, graped her, and later showed her, showed her security footage of the incident. That's kind of interesting, right? Like, these, this happened. Because I remember academics actually talked about this a while back. He didn't go into details that he did anything, but he said that he showed her the incident on a security camera. Think about that. I mean, I don't know if I would have went into that direction. I probably would have, you know, went to the... I just wouldn't have show I wouldn't have went that far with it. I don't know what he was trying to do by doing that, but let's keep reading. Abashi says she went to the police for testing and a grape kit confirmed traces of Allen's semen. 
Authorities allegedly also photographed bruises on her arms, legs, and back. Wow. Although she did not press charges at the time, she says that the police did record a call between the two that, conform that confirmed sexual intercourse and that a search by police revealed several times, several items, bed sheets, etc., had been disposed of in a dumpster near his office, which the suit calls proof he was trying to get rid of evidence. Wow. Over a year later, during a December live stream, Allen denied assaulting Abashi, claiming he was asleep during the assault. However, rather than expressing empathy or regret, he made the claim that Abashi was getting trained by two men on the pool deck, arguing that her participation was voluntary. My goodness. According to the suit, his claims were misleading and false, as he was in possession of text messages from Miss Abashi, where she stated that she did not know what happened to her on July 16, 2022, and that it was Mr. Allen who informed her of the night's events. The suit was filed by Tyrone Blackburn, who is also uh, litigating the controversial sexual harassment lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs. Oh my God! Wow, this is a uh, this is deep. So the same people who are right now dealing with Puff in his lawsuit, she went to the same people to do this lawsuit against academics. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. And this is the crazy thing about all of this. I, 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 li let me tell you this. Doing live streams is not for everything. It's not. Right now, and I'm bringing that up and saying that because right now, DJ Academics is doing the live stream. I have no understanding why this dude will go live after a report like this come out. Especially without a lawyer sitting right next to him. If I'm going to go live, I'm going to have a lawyer sitting right next to me during a situation like this. It's no way that I'm going to go live talking about a, a grape. Something that is out there. She got the same lawyer that the people who represent Puff have. Is There is no way on God's green earth that I'm about to go live discussing this situation. Especially without legal representation sitting right next to me mm. i really i really hope that people are learning lessons from these type of situations right now anything and everything is coming out in the open mm. there's nothing that could be hidden nowadays mm. everything is coming out and when you are a person who's constantly doing live streams a person who put yourself out there you are definitely a target now, I'm not taking nothing away from the girl. I'm not saying that she didn't go through what she went through. Obviously, it says in the reports that she had bruises on her body. So we know something happened. Do we know that it was Ack? Because we heard of this same situation, remember, with Kai Sinet. I don't know if you all remember, but it came out with Kai Sinet that somebody in his home was great. Now, it came out that the dude was innocent, but this situation sounds a little bit different. It sounds like individuals who are Axe friends, allegedly, did do this, and he saw this on camera. Now, when Axe explained it a while back, he said that it looked like it was consensual, right? Now, he knew that they were all drunk. She was drunk. The guys were drunk. He knew that part, right? But according to him, on the te on the cameras that he showed her, he wanted to show her because he wanted to show her this was consensual. And he was, in that at that time, mad because that was supposed to be his girl, right? Or a girl, he would ask to come over to hang out with him, right? So he showed her this video, and when he explained it, he said that she the whole time was looking shocked because she didn't remember any of it. You know, this is why I also got to say this. Ladies, please listen when I say this. This is not nothing going against y'all. But people also got to be accountable for their actions. I'm not saying that Ak and his friends don't have no part of any of this. I'm not saying none of that. The only thing that I'm saying is that a lady's got to be accountable for your actions as well. If you at 2 in the morning is going to a man's house 
to a man's house, whether you trust him or not, I don't care. This ain't your fiance. This ain't no long term boyfriend. This is a guy's house. You know, it's a big time live stream, dude. You know, it's gonna be people at his house. People like that always got people at their house, right? You go in there in the middle of the night, not even the middle, it's two in the morning. You go into somebody's house at this time of night. You got to be accountable for your actions and understand that something can happen. I'm by myself. I don't got none of my friends with me. I'm by myself. This is something that's big. This is deep.